In the African American community, we uh, part of the survival from the African homeland to the new land in, in the West. And when I say new land, I include the Americas because so many of the enslaved people who came from the African homeland came to the Caribbean through uh, what we know as North America. Much of their culture was an oral culture, a culture which was transmitted orally, handed down from generation to generation. That has been a classic characteristic of many cultures and certainly of African American culture. We find it to be the case, for example, um, in African cultures, the role of the griot. The griot was the, was the historian. Alex Haley's book entitled Roots, which came out in the 70s and was very popular. Well, Alex Haley traced his roots back to Africa and went to the village from where his people had come and he found the griot. And in finding the griot, uh, he wanted to know the history of the village and of its people. And so it was the role of the griot to tell him that, but it's all done orally. Well, this oral tradition persists uh, even to today. What will you feed your children, black woman? What will you place before them? When they demand to be fed, when they clamor for feast, when their thirst calls them from their sleep. In our transformation and migration from the continent here, people of African descent were stripped not only of our names, not only of our history and culture, we were stripped of everything that made us Africans. In studying and, and bringing the oral arts back to our culture, we are reconnecting ourselves to that tradition.